What's up, everyone? This is Chapizard here. Um, some one spoilers for One Piece Chapter 1108 have just dropped. We have a full summary for the chapter thanks to Pew or Pew Piece here on Twitter. He provides spoilers every single week almost. Um, he's one of the main trusted leakers in the One Piece community if you didn't know who he is. He drops early leaks and he usually provides us with full chapter summaries. Um, he got this one from MoogieWar underscore 23, who I suppose is also a leaker. I'm not familiar with him, but check him out as well. Last chapter pretty much ended off with Luffy fighting Saturn and, and Sanji blocking Kizaru's beam and Caribou trying to get to Blackbeard's ship. Um, let's see what's happening in this chapter. Apparently some pretty big stuff happens in this chapter. So I'm going to open this image in the new tab. We're to start off. I'm sure of 15 pages, so the page chapter is two pages long. I'm sorry, 15 pages long. There's two color pages, a color spread. Um, the name of the chapter is World Please Respond. There's a, co a color spread right here. Um, I'll let you read that if you're interested in it. So the pr chapter pretty much breaks off with the last one ended. Augur and Devon don't trust Caribou. They're suspicious of him naturally. Caribou says he has valuable information. Uh, I assume that's about him knowing the location of Pluton and Wano, which I assume Blackbeard would be very much interested in knowing. Uh, that's been a long standing theory that Caribou would leak information about Pluton to Blackbeard and, Black Porn and Blackbeard would attack Wano to retrieve Pluton. If they bring him to teach, he will tell everything. We can't see if Caribou goes with Augur and Yvonne or not in this chapter. Um, I was just going to season that for later. Cut to the Marines. We can see the names of all nine, all nine Vice Admirals and Egghead. Nameless Vice Admirals are Pomsky, Tosa, Urban, Hound, and Guillotine. So, Oda, again, with just tons and tons of countless Marine characters and his name in them. We've seen several of these before. Um, Pomsky, Doberman, Dahl, Tosa, Guillotine, Red King, Hound, Bluegrass, and Urban. The Marines are having big problems with pacifistas since their bubble shields can block cannonballs. Doberman orders all Vice Admirals to hunt down Body as top priority. If they kill Bonnie first, they'll gain control over the pacifistas. Vice Admiral Tosa is chasing Franker's group and he's about to attack them with a grappling technique called Tosagami. Uh, I guess that's what it's translated from. That has equal power to two to, to ten Shiguns. However, Tosa is crushed by Dory and Broggy. Um, we saw Dory and Broggy arrive a couple of chapters ago and it looks like they're getting some more action in this chapter right here just by using normal attacks. Dorian Brogy leave Frankie's group with some giant warriors to bring back to their ship. Bonnie tells them that Luffy, Sanji, and Vegapunk are still in the middle of the island, so Dorian Brogy head there to help them. Um, so I guess they're heading towards Saturn. Luffy and them are fighting to help them out. Dory says, Vegapunk, he must be that man. Must be the man that Scholar told us about. Um, I'm not sure who that Scholar they're referring to us about. I'm assuming somebody from Ohara, Ohara maybe? Um, maybe it's even Jaguar D. Saul who was at Ohara and knows the information about them. Um, maybe I'm just misremembering something about who that might be. Vice Admiral Bluegrass is riding a sea beast weapon, the doll. Bluegrass asks Doll if she has seen the Strength of Giants. Doll answers that she's worked under Saul's command 20 years ago. So that she definitely knows the Strength of Giants. Another thing about Zoro, Jinbei, Broker, Usopp's group in this chapter. Um, I know Zoro, you know, Zoro has been fighting Lu uh, Luchi now for a while, and people have been going crazy and upset that Zoro hasn't offed Luchi by now, even though he's probably just holding them off. There's been lots of issues saying that Zoro's not trying enough to defeat Luchi. Um, as we'll see, maybe we'll see more about that later to see if that debate continues. Cut to Luffy's group. Vegapunk tells Luffy and Sanji they don't need him, to, they don't need to take him anymore. Vegapunk once thought about escaping, but now he has changed his mind. <laughs> So, Vegapunk's been wanting to escape Egghead as we know, but now I guess he's changed his mind, as he says here. Vegapunk, if there is something on Egghead Island, I must protect. Vegapunk also tells Luffy to protect Bonnie. Vegapunk was planning to reveal Bonnie, the con was planning to reveal Bonnie the control over the Pacifistas when she was older, so whenever Bonnie got older, Vegapunk planned to bestow her with the power to control the Pacifistas. But now that everyone knows it, Bonnie will be hunted. Saturn returns to face Luffy. Saturn changes into a new form, so we're seeing Saturn with yet another transformation. Um, this PP says here that it's probably his 100% creature form. So kind of like um, what we saw now was like his hybrid Zoan form, and this would be like his full Zoan form. Kind of like um, how Kaido can turn into a full dragon, but also has his hybrid form. Saturn's body is much bigger and spider-like with huge frightening eyes, and it seems he only has legs now, no arms. Uh, the design for that should be out maybe tomorrow, and I'm very curious to see what that looks like. Saturn attacks Luffy and Sanji with poisonous leg lips that look like tentacles. Luffy avoids all of them joking around. That's classic Gear 5 Luffy. Luffy wants Sanji to get Vegapunk out of the battlefield to prevent any further harm from coming to him. Then Luffy transforms into giant size. He's very serious. And an epic final double page. There's going to be a double spread page here. Luffy grabs Saturn's head with his left hand and full Kizaru's body with his right hand at the same time. 
Kizaru coughs blood while Luffy is grabbing him. A lot of people have been debating if Kizaru and the Admirals are on Luffy's level. Um, it's been hinted at a lot here that Luffy is above Kizaru, and he's taking on both him and Saturn here at the same time. And we can see the damage Kizaru is enduring here. There's no way I'm letting you guys go. Kizaru doesn't really say anything. He's stunned. Um, we'll probably see more about what's actually happening here in the chapter. Sanji and Vegapunk are now away from the battle. We can see Giant Luffy in the distance. Sanji is surprised that Vegapunk is smiling despite his wounds. Damn it. Hey, Vegapunk. Hey, are you dead? What's with that smile? Come to Punk Breaker's lab. Vegapunk's face suddenly appears on a screen and starts talking. Um, this is what, I guess what, um, Vegapunk wanted to tell everybody. Hello, hello, test, test, world, world, please respond. So, he's trying to reach out to the entire world here. I'm Dr. Vegapunk, the genius scientist. The message I'm about to say may shock you all, but this is the truth of this world. Um, I don't know if this is Vegapunk trying to talk to the, I'm assuming he's just trying to talk to Egghead. Um, I don't know if he would have access to talk to other people on other islands, like worldwide, but there are a lot of marines and pirates and people on Egghead that don't know much about the Void Century. Um, so it seems that Vegapunk is trying to reveal some of the stuff he knows here, which obviously Saturn and others are trying to prevent and definitely do not want to happen if he, and if he succeeds. Um, that would be very bad for the... For, it's definitely not what they want. Um, I don't... I'd be surprised we found out a, a ton from this. We'll, we'll probably get a little, eat, little, little crop breadcrumbs like we always do, but I didn't really... I don't really expect us to learn like a ton of voyage entry lore from Vegapunk in this way. Since there's still more Ponic glyphs in the One Piece and all that to be found, but we might get some interesting stuff to come from this, so I'm kind of excited to see where this goes. Um, there's the end of the chapter. There's no break next week, so we will get chapter 1109 no week in next week, so there's no break to wait through. Um, so, this, so my name is Champazard. If you'd like, if you, let me know what you think about these spoilers and what you think about the chapter. Um, I'm excited for it to release this week so we can read it. Um, let me know what you would think. Like and subscribe to the video. It helps the channel. helps the algorithm. And I'll see you all next time.